All right, hey everybody, it's David out at Reptile Gardens and we are with Ryan again today. And today we wanted to talk about prairie rattlesnakes and bull snakes and some of the common misconceptions about these snakes. And it is spring in the Black Hills, so we are gonna see a lot more of these out active. So we just thought we should do a little bit more education on these snakes. So Ryan. Yes. All right, so we have a rattlesnake and a bull snake, correct? Yes. Okay, all right, well, I'll let you uh, do your thing here, yeah. There you go. All right. Bull snake, I am, I'm fine with holding a bull snake. I have done this before. So obviously this bull snake looks a lot like a rattlesnake. Yeah, so these guys are native. This is about I mean, an average size for down here in South Dakota. They can be a lot bigger, six, seven feet in some parts of the United States. Um, but they are a snake that gets really confused with rattlesnakes all the time for some mm -hmm. reason. Uh, one of the big reasons is, is that way one of their defenses is they'll go ahead, they'll puff up and start making a hissing sound out of their mouth and people, uh, they will also shake their tail, they'll wiggle it back and forth and people start to mistake that sound and that movement for a rattlesnake. So yeah, I'll fight. This is one of our big prairie rattlesnakes. Um, these guys are found here in the western parts of South Dakota. And this is going to be a l about average size. They can get a little bit bigger down here in the Black Hills. Um, there again, one that can push maybe anywhere between three to four feet. Um, but you're getting really large prairies uh, when you get to that size of four to five feet long. Now this guy, you guys can kind of see the differences from the ways apart. Their coloring is a little bit different. Also with the rattlesnake, he obviously has that rattle on the tip of his tail. Um, even a young rattlesnake will have at least one button um, or segment, that's what we call them, on the tip of their tail. So that's another way you can tell where your bull snake's tail it comes more to a tapered end. Uh, that's another misconception that people have is they think that bull snakes eat rattlesnakes. Um, that's not really true. Um, these guys, to disprove that, we have them upstairs together. They'll also den up in the winter. Uh, they're both going to more chase after rodents of varying sizes. Um, given any opportunity, one snake may possibly eat another one, but it's not something that a bull snake is actively seeking out. So something else that I've heard about rattlesnakes is that, is it true that they are uh, not using their rattles anymore because they've maybe evolved and figured out that when they do rattle, that kind of lets people know where they're at and that could lead them to get killed. Yeah, so there's some talk out there. Um, we kind of talk about it that you can actually hear him hissing even right now. He's yeah. not using his tail. Um, but they'll keep that rattle, but some are not uh, rattling as much or they're not at all. Um, could be a genetic defect that's been passed on through the ages. Uh, you could have snakes that are not rattling anymore because like you said, some people, they are being found that way and that's how people kill them. Um, it's more likely that that is a genetic defect that's um, passing through that's just causing them not to rattle. And also another thing is, there's, we have many local snakes around here. Yep. And some of those snakes when they're babies resemble either one of these and you might not be able to tell what is what, right? Yeah, so okay. we have another example. So these guys, even when they're younger adults, um, really look similar. We actually did bring another snake with that we have here in South Dakota. Some people aren't too, as don't know as much about this coloring. Um, this guy is actually a baby Eastern yellow belly racer. Um, it's really easy with these guys' patterns to see how they also get confused with prairie rattlesnakes, uh, especially the baby one. Yeah, that the patterns that it has, if I were to see that in the wild, I'm pretty sure I would say, oh, that's a baby rattlesnake. Yeah. Oh, that's a bull snake. So, so one way to tell, even when these guys are younger, is this one, again, if you look at its tail, it's gonna be really tapered, it comes out to an end. Baby prairie rattlesnake is still gonna have that one little button that's it's, saying it on yeah. the end. So that's one way to tell them apart. Either way, the best thing we say to do is if you don't know what it is, probably should just leave it probably alone. Probably should leave it alone and not, yeah. I've almost forgotten that he's over here. This is my first time holding a bull snake here, so I've been really trying to focus on that and this and everything. Yeah. All right. Anything else you want to hit on that? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Just... The snake's trying to go in my shirt and in my, my pocket. So...